Let's take a look at the soleus in the superficial posterior compartment of the leg. The cadaver is prone. We are looking at the right side of the body. And because of the lateral external rotation of the thigh at the hip joint, the leg is turned out. So we're compensating with a camera angle coming from higher down toward the table, down toward the gurney. So the soleus is said to be deep to the gastrocnemius and from a perfectly posterior perspective it is. But I would like to first point out that there is a lot of superficial exposure to the soleus on the lateral side and there's quite a bit of superficial exposure on the medial side. But now to better see the soleus, let's take the gastrocnemius. We've cut it mid-belly, so to speak, mid-head for the lateral head as well as the medial head. And we can reflect the gastrocnemius out of the way and now we can better see the soleus. The soleus attaches to the head of the fibula and the proximal one-third of the fibula, and it attaches along the tibia on what is called the soleal line, which runs right along adjacent to the popliteus, which is a deeper muscle. It's in the deep posterior compartment of the leg. The soleus comes down, it runs distally. It stays muscular much, much, much longer than gastroc. Whereas gastroc ends its muscle tissue halfway down the leg, the soleus stays muscular, usually all the way down to around here or so. In this cadaver, it seems to stop right around here. But it comes down, it comes down, and it contributes its fascial tissue into this tendon along with the gastrocnemius and this is the calcaneal tendon also known as the Achilles tendon attaching into the posterior surface of the calcaneus. The soleus does not cross the knee joint so it does not have an action at the knee joint but it crosses the ankle joint posteriorly so it is a plantar flexor at the ankle joint. For a little bit of context as we've already said the gastrocnemius is superficial we pull the gastrocnemius away and we can see the third muscle that's in the superficial posterior compartment and that is the plantaris. The plantaris has a short maybe two inch long belly and then it becomes tendon and its tendon will run all the way down to get to the calcaneus and that tendon runs between the gastrocnemius and the soleus. So here we have the soleus when we consider the soleus with the two heads of gastrocnemius, sometimes these three heads or two muscles together are called the triceps suri group. To review, the soleus attaches to the head of the fibula and the proximal one-third of the fibula and along the soleal line of the tibia, it runs down distally and attaches via the calcaneal Achilles tendon into the calcaneus.